Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and if you don't mind, subscribe. What we're going to talk about today, uh, some comments. First of all, as you notice at the beginning of my video, I asked everybody to subscribe. <laughs> I had a comment that was negative about that. I mean, duh, uh, I need subscribers in order to, uh, one of these days, I might get some revenue off of this vid these videos, but who knows, so far, been over a year and no revenue, so, what's so great about that, I don't know, I don't know why anybody won't be negative about someone asking about subscribers. And then had a negative comment about um, of all things, my wife. She's only with me for the revenue, the money. But if that was true, you no, know, it's been fourteen and a half years. She would have left me in the beginning because. If anybody been following my videos, you know, I've told this story before. Our, my, our first year together was a struggle. There were times that we had to ration our food to make it till I got my pay. So we were living in the city. The expenses were much higher. And uh, we struggled. I don't think she would have stayed if it was just for the money. Because there was no money. There was no extras. We were dealing with uh, immigration expenses for one thing. Trying to get my permanent resident. And that's that was a struggle. I can't remember all the comments. But, uh, you know... I'm going back on something that uh, my grandmother always told me. If you can't say something nice about someone, don't say anything. And I've kind of kept that rule. It's rare that I will say anything negative about a person or mention a person personally. I try to keep it embedded. Now I'm here. And we still don't have a great deal of money. We we manage to from payday to payday. And some months it's not so good. But we manage. And we have managed to actually help people. And just recently, you know, I had an elderly lady stop by here. And of course, she's not speaking in English. Uh, Grace informed me that she didn't have no food. Well, I give her twenty dollars for food, thousand pesos roughly. And uh, that takes from our budget, but I gave it without remorse or anything like that. I was happy I could actually give. No, we do things like that on a regular basis. So, when I get those negative comments, you know, it, it shouldn't disturb me. But in a way, it does. Because there's a lot of good people out there. And I have one comment about when I did this scammer alert. It was useless. Everybody knows there's scams going on. Well, a lot of people do know there's scams going on. But there's probably a few out there that don't. I just want to bring it to people's attention that need to be aware. And, you know, <clears throat> he even commented it was my own fault. Well, it's true. 
I let it slip and I let too much information out on the internet. <clears throat> so I learned something, you know, I will refresh myself to stay more aware. That was my whole goal of the uh, scammer alert. To keep people alert that they you know you, you got to stay alert. Don't let your guard down like I did. So, yeah. That's what it was all about. <laughs> you know, was it a useless video? Maybe to a lot. But there might be somebody out there said, well, I need to stay aware. If it's just one person, they, it helps. That's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> having my coffee. And i still not been able to go out and visit my chickens. I scraped my heel and it's taking its time to heal. <laughs> I scraped my heel and it's taking time to heal. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Grace has been taking care of it and um, it's slowly getting better. And as far as uh, we're, our pullets out there, I think the count's up to four. We had to uh, not make it, uh, died. So it leaves us out of 18, 14 of that group left. Of course, when we did the vaccine, uh, it was uh, a couple of them still sick. So we're late doing the vaccine. If we'd gotten to them sooner, maybe they'd still be okay. Now, out of the 21 of the last hatch, all of them are okay uh, at the moment. Won't know much until they get like the others when they get about six to eight weeks old. That's when we know. You know, I had a comment that uh, was a uh, more of a positive comment. Let's get away from the negatives. Uh, they said maybe uh, the chicks I bought uh, brought the illness in. You know, that's strong possibility. But we just have to wait and see. Hopefully, you know, uh, we finally weed through all this. Uh, and hopefully, this is a, the fifth month for a lot of them. We start getting some new layers. So far, it's not happened. Uh, and my Rhode Island Reds that are the uh, the adults, I got ten of them. I'm only averaging about five eggs a day, which is enough to supply my own. And uh, but that's okay. This should be, hopefully, within the next few weeks, the beginning of the five-month cycle when uh, new hens and so forth are coming of age to start laying. And we'll have to call a few of the roosters, hopefully, so we'll have some fresh chicken. What do you think about that now? <laughs> And our, you know, the events have been, um, there a lot of, for, for a lot of people, probably boring. Uh, just routine things throughout the day, um, you know, feeding our chickens one thing or another. Uh, that's about the basics of that. You know, we've had to make a few trips to San Carlos, uh, nothing exciting, no, nothing new. But another thing too, my videos is not uh, to promote anything other than showing the lifestyle that most people would find boring. I know that, but it's something that I enjoy, and and I stay entertained with it. I'm not the uh, party animal. <clears throat> 
uh, I do enjoy traveling, but right, we just have to keep things calm for the time being. Um, one thing is uh, trying to get my foot better. <laughs> uh, it's not painful or anything like that. It just I don't want it to get uh, develop a big infection. So I'm just been staying uh, close to home mainly. <clears throat> when we go anywhere, I don't I don't get out because of it. Uh, I just don't want to take chances of getting infected. Uh, Cause it's, just, it's not a big place. It's just enough to be irritating. And it's right there a place that's hard to protect. Yeah. <laughs> but that's life. That's the way it is. And you know, Even though I may find my life here enjoyable and entertaining to me, not everybody has my lifestyle. I know that. And my videos is not geared to... Uh, or excitement and all that stuff. Sometimes we do do something exciting, but it's not a constant thing. I noticed that uh, some YouTubers, uh, they get out and about a lot, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, I do watch their videos, and it's entertaining. I like that. Uh, but my lifestyle is different, so. Anyway, folks. I really appreciate everybody. Hopefully everybody's doing well. And I know I just sit here and ramble and just talk and all that stuff. And no, There's a few people who don't even like that. That's okay. But everybody take care. Enjoy your life. And until next time, I'll see you then.